Breaking news. Atiku may become Nigerian's president without 2023 presidential election if this court ruling goes in his favor. Hello, my wonderful people. Buhari is almost about to complete his second um, four-year tenure in office. Yes, he's almost about to complete that. Uh, yet, the court ruling that declared that Buhari won is still ongoing. That court ruling is still ongoing. And so the court is meeting to decide if, you know, uh, who really won that election. We don't know if it is a Northern plot, okay, to ensure that um, a Northern takeover, because if the court rules that it was Atiku that won that election in, 19, in, in, 19, in 2019, then, you know, that year election starts again. It's as though, you know, whatever Buhari has done has gone. Then a new set of election, a new you know regime starts all together. So we will see what exactly this is all about, as it's been predicated that Atiku may become Nigerian's president without you know election being held if the court rule in his favor. So let's get all the details. What exactly is going on? Why are the talks about the next presidential election, a new report has emerged like a twist from an interesting movie. Just when the movie, just when the public has forgotten that there is a pending legal battle on the 2019 presidential election where there is an apparel, an appeal rule that Buhari, President Muhammad Buhari should be sacked for the alleged false affidavit. The group that filed the appeal also asked that the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Halaji Atiku Abubakar, be declared Nigerian's president. However, the punch reported that a court of appeal in Abuja has adjourned the case till May the 18th, 2022. It is worth of noting that the appeal was filed by the incorporated trustees of the Civil Society Observatory for Constitutional and Legal Compliance. So, if the evidence presented by the group is genuine, Atsiku could become the next president without a fresh election being held. Away from that, you may recall that a similar case has happened in the past where Olu Shegun Mimiko was sworn in as the legitimate winner of the 2007 election in Ondo State after late former governor Olu Shegun Agagu was already two years into his second tenure. As the governor until February 2009, when a court validated his re-election as governor on the report of electoral irregularities. Mimiko will go ahead to become the first governor in history of Ondo State to rule for eight years. Not that only, the current Minister of Interior, Aregbe Shola, would also have to go through several battles before he was declared a winner of the 2007 election in Oshun State. It was almost four years before he was able to reclaim his mandate. That being said, it is a strong case. If a strong case is built up, the re-election of President Muhammad Buhari and the court rules in Atiku's favor, Nigeria could have a new president without a fresh election. But now, Buhari remains the president and it will probably be till 2023 only if the court rules and something else goes on so this is what is happening atiku abubakar may become nigerian's president or if we may of this year all things being equal if the court rules in his favor so we don't know exactly what is happening we don't know exactly what is going on but the case you know, has been adjourned to 20, the case has been adjourned to May 2022. So by May, we'll be bringing you up to speed if 
you know, Atiku has become Nigeria's next president and what will happen in that regard. So my wonderful people, these are the things happening. Uh, these are the things going on right now. As um, you know, we can see clearly that, um, you know, a songwriter says, I can see clearly now that the rain is gone. So whether there is rain, there is no rain, we might begin to see more clearly who the next president of the country may be. Could it be that it is a northern ploy to ensure a northern and take come in and take charge for another for another seven for another eight years? We don't know. Okay, the court will rule in that regard. Could it be? Could it be? We don't know. But the court's uh, rulings will be taking place in May of this year. Atiku, Atiku had Peter Obi as his running mate and they, they put up a good fight, really. Many people are of the opinion that Atiku won that very said elections, who is of the People Democratic Party. However, the court had to declare Buhari because his men were in position and in power. We don't know how true that is, but that was what happened. Yes? Peter Obi, who is also varying for the position of the president from the southeast, was Atiku running mate, and then um, they put up a very good fight. It was a very good contest. However, the court at the time said it was Atiku. Ha you know, but what happened was that there is still court case pending. While Buhari's administration is still ongoing, there is court case pending. And that court case, if it goes, you know, like we stated to you in May, of this year 2022 if he goes in Atiku's favor then Buhari may have to leave unceremoniously may have to leave office and Atiku may have to come in and spend the first four years and maybe another four years if he's re-elected so welcome to Nigeria welcome these are the days before us where you know it may be a plot it may be real it may, whatever it may be, because Buhari's tenor is less than is less than um, is less than how many months to go? Not years. It's just a few months to go. And uh, could it be another plot? Because the South is insisting that they are coming on board, and the North is saying, you know, it's it, it. Anybody should take over. We don't know. We'll keep you informed as the matter unfolds. Bear it in mind. Atiku's case, May 2022. We may understand what next to do. Leave us a comment. God bless. Bye for now.